Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I bring you this beautiful fried cheese dumplings. And over here I've got two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm adding a quarter cup of milk powder and a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. Now the original recipe calls for this creamy cheese, which is a European product and it's uh, kind of hard for me to get it and it's also very expensive. So I have substituted that with four tablespoons of melted butter. And also I substituted the water with milk and of course we have sugar and uh, just add the butter to the milk and of course the sugar and I also cut down on the uh, yeast so I'm using two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast so if you were to buy the packet ones you just buy one packet okay that's about seven grams of uh, instant yeast okay so just put it together uh, over here I just want to combine the flour and the milk powder together and also mix well and combine the liquids which has the sugar and the yeast in it okay now this recipe is a middle eastern recipe i don't know where exactly where it originates but i ate these when i was in oman and i really really loved them so i wanted to make them uh, i had to change the recipe you know because uh, like i say it's difficult to get the cream cheese i tried to make it with a cream cheese and without the cream cheese, it I didn't see the difference in the taste or texture. Okay, so I just want to mix this together. And I added um, about uh, two tablespoons of water. You may need or you may not need. Okay. And I also added a tablespoon of olive oil i actually cut down on the olive oil the olive oil was about three tablespoons so i cut it down to one tablespoon okay so i just need this for about uh, seven to ten minutes now these are also called kaimatis uh, i mean the swahili people call them kaimatis but i'm not sure um the Arabs, I think uh, I was told they're called Jibnia. So it originates from the word, from the cheese word, which is Jibni. Okay. So anyway, once you finish kneading, I just put a little bit of uh, olive oil, cover them. And uh, I mean, cover it and keep it uh, for about 15 minutes to rest. All right. And uh, well, after 15 minutes, we're ready. And we are going to fill this up, fill them up with a cream cheese. And uh, you can do like this. This is how they usually done. And the cheese is into a small dice, cut into a small dice. Make sure it's cold. And just roll it uh, within your palm, between your palm. Okay. So, but I like to roll my dough. I find it's easier and I get all my my cheese balls okay I'm using Philadelphia but you can use any uh, cream cheese okay you can use Kiri you can use the lavash Kiri or any kind of cheese all right and take any sharp um, cutter or you know cookie small cookie cutter not a big one So this is like, this is what I like to do. You don't have to do it this way. Okay, so once that's done, I got my cheese ready. And just put uh, all the dices, the cheese dices in between, I mean in the middle. These are very addictive. They are just like how the other kaimatis are, but of course, they actually taste a little bit like um, like gulab jamun, okay? But of course, gulab jamuns are more richer and the texture is a bit different, so they're more softer. Now, the rest of the dough, what I like to do is just keep it in the freezer, wrap it up nicely and keep it in the freezer for some other time because I don't need so many kaimatis, okay? So you just want to pinch a uh, pull from the sides, okay? I think I missed that. I have to show, talk to you about I have to tell you on the second one. Okay, so this is the second one. And I'm sorry, my camera is 
too low okay so you just want to pull from the sides and make sure that the cheese is well covered and then just roll it between your palms to make a nice uh, little round ball okay just like that okay so these are ready and we are ready to fry make sure that your oil is not very hot it's just medium and these cook so fast and they change the color also very very fast so yeah if you do them on high heat they're gonna turn really really dark brown to almost black so you have to be very careful so that's about it they're very simple and they are so so addictive and that's why i don't like to make them much i just make a little because i'll end up eating all of them <laughs> and um yeah that's about it and uh, you just fry them like how you do the kaimatis and i also use this the same recipe that i use for the syrup for the kaimati which has the uh, saffron and cardamom i did not make a video for a syrup but i will make a separate video shortly so you don't have to watch the kaimati video just to get the syrup okay and uh, they cook for about maybe three minutes on you know all together but you have to keep uh, tossing them so that uh, you get them cooked uh, same color on each side So Swahili, we call them cheese kaimatis. Obviously, it's not our dish. And uh, I decided to call them uh, uh, cheese dumplings. <laughs> okay, so the name is kind of escalating and, I mean, going somewhere else now. Okay. So that's it. And... Um, yeah, of course, you want to serve them warm and make sure that your syrup is not cold. It's not, it's cold. It's not hot. Okay. And uh, I was kind of rushing here because, you know, it was time to breakfast and the kids were waiting. So you see, I didn't have much. That's just enough. But you can use the whole lot if you want to. And we're just going to drizzle this with our syrup. You can actually put them in the bowl and get them coated with a syrup and then drizzle. But like I say, I was in a hurry. Okay, and then just a little bit pistachio for some color. And thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. And you'll also find the ingredients on this page and on the description box below.